So the question is, what is the difference between major sins and minor sins? The major sins in Islam are sins that have certain conditions, that they have specifically been mentioned with a certain punishment. So there's a verse that says, or a hadith that says, whoever does such and such, their punishment is such and such. So that's a major sin. It is an act that Allah's curse or the curse of the Prophet ﷺ is mentioned. So whoever does this, you know, la'natullahi alayhi, you know, the curse of Allah is on them or and his Prophet ﷺ. It is a sin, another condition or reference would be a sin in which everlasting, the everlasting abode in the hellfire is mentioned. So whoever does this, you know, khalidina fin nari abada, they're, they're in the hellfire forever. Uh, so the or it is a sin that is mentioned with it a certain punishment. So whoever does such punishment, meaning in this world, not in, in the hereafter. So those would be some of the things that would make the sins a major sin. And those are few in number, such that there are many ulama, like Imam al-Dhahabi and others, that have cataloged them. So you can you know, find a list of these are the major sins. So somebody combed through all of the verses of the Qur'an and all of the hadith to say, okay, these are the major sins that we found. What are the minor sins? Everything else. Everything else that we're not, we're not supposed to do, but are not those things. Meaning there is no uh, cursing involved, there is no hellfire forever involved, there is no punishment, specific punishment in this life or the hereafter. They're just things that we're not supposed to do. It doesn't mean that the minor sins are okay. You know, we don't want to be uh, okay with sin at all. We always want to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the major sins require a specific tawbah. So if somebody, you know, uh, God forbid, does that, let's, let's say somebody drinks, because drinking alcohol is a major sin in Islam. Say somebody drinks, and they feel bad about it, and they want to stop. They have to specifically ask Allah, you know, Ya Allah, please forgive me for drinking, etc. You know, between them and Allah, of course, uh, specifically. And then, inshallah, it is forgiven. The minor sins, on the other hand, because, because they're pretty much everything else we're not supposed to do, our normal acts of devotion clean us from those sins. So every time you make wudu, the sins are wiped away. Friday prayer to Friday prayer, sins are wiped away. Ramadan to Ramadan, the sins are wiped away. You know, when you go to Umrah, if you make hajj, the sins are wiped away. What are the sins that are wiped away? They're the minor sins. The major sins require a specific act of tawbah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for all of our sins, minor and major, and to never be comfortable with the state of sin. Uh, and may we find that displeasing and may we find uh, the path of righteousness pleasing, insha'Allah. Wallahu ta'ala a'la wa a'lam.